Now let's pretend that you're a 16 year old girl and this is your first time in Chicago. What would you most like to see on your first evening? How about La Boheme? No, you have to give opera more than one chance. That was the Yukon Light Opera, and I thought they did their very best under extraordinarily difficult circumstances. In fact, it's a miracle that poor woman was able to sing at all after having been dragged out of that snowdrift. Oh, now, here's an idea. A modern dress production of Gilbert and Sullivan's Ivanhoe. No, you're right. And she is 16. I mean, perhaps I'm being a bit conservative. Mind you, she's the daughter of a very important Canadian trade diplomat. I can hardly invite her to a sock hop. I've got the museums and the gallery scheduled for tomorrow. I just have to find something that she would enjoy doing tonight. Oh, look. The Bee Gees are reuniting. You know, I don't even know why I bother talking to you when you're in these kinds of moods. May I be frank? I only started talking with you on the ice flow out of sheer boredom. Now you've got an opinion on virtually everything. Well, from now on, you can keep your opinions to yourself. Oh, how do I look? Well, thank you. the promotion <laughs> and I'm in a mood to celebrate come out come out wherever you are think you can treat me like that Eddie huh you make me wait here all day and you think you can walk in and talk to me like that well think again jerk Broken nose guys in the bar found him when he came out to get his car. Do we have cause of death? Judging from the hole in his back, I'm ruling out asphyxiation. All right, they all tell the same story. They were playing cards. Frankie was up. He stepped out. He never came back. They figured he went home a winner. Who do we like for this? It's got to be Eddie Beats. No, Eddie's a soldier. This took too much initiative. Word is, Eddie's been getting itchy talking Frankie down. Money says somebody was putting big thoughts in Eddie's head. Eddie didn't have the brains for big thoughts. If you got the list, you don't need a brain. That list is a fairy tale. Frankie's a very hands-on kind of guy. He kept a meticulous record of every distributor and dealer he ever knew. He owned Frankie's list. He owned the entire West Side. We checked the body. There's no list. All right, everybody's on this. Oh, come on, I don't want to work with Screwy and Louie. Half the city is up for grabs right now. Nobody sleeps. 
You find me the doer and you find me the list. Vecchio. Frazier, I'm sort of busy right now. Are you uh, otherwise engaged, detectives? Uh, no, sir. Good. Ready to go? You think we can still make it? Absolutely. You sure? I thought the curtain was at seven. We'll take my car. I have a flashing light on top. I'll sing the opening aria on the way. <laughs> this better be an emergency. on the corner splash their colors on the night tape decks blare and kids compare stories of their flight into everywhere riding the wires reaching for the Their colors on the night The men drive by so slowly The deal is always red for gold Midnight in the city is always neon The men drive by so slowly The deal is always red for gold Midnight in the city it's always neon blue, neon blue, neon blue. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I got it. I don't know what's in there. I didn't look. I know how you are about your stuff, but this better be important. I can't thank you enough, Ray. So what's the emergency? Well, I've been assigned to escort the daughter of Canada's senior trade negotiator. The one in the green dress, dancing with the doofus? And he's the American ambassador's son. Looks like a very painful experience. Well, dancing with the Americans often is, Ray. Speaking politically, of course, not personally. Yeah, right. So what's the emergency? Well, you'll never believe this, but I didn't realize that this was a formal event. You got me off the biggest case of my career to bring you a pair of gloves? And I can't thank you enough, Ray. I'm supposed to be on a stakeout right now. I got a tip where I can find Eddie Beats, a guy suspected of offing his boss and trying to take over the entire West Side, and I deliver formal accessories? Well, if it wasn't urgently important, I wouldn't have called you. You'll never know how much this means to me, Ray. You're right, I won't. Uh-oh, I know that look. This guy's gonna want to see my ticket. I'm at it. Thanks, Ray. Oh, uh, Ray, could you, um... I gotta find new friends. Your boss at the consulate said I couldn't miss you. He was right. Cosmo Fraser, sir. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Well, it shouldn't be uh, too tough an assignment, eh, Constable? I'll take good care of your daughter, sir. I wish I had more time to take her around myself. Her mother used to take care of her on these trips. It's been two years. I still haven't gotten the hang of it. I, I guess I'm not much of a substitute. Uh, can I get you anything? Oh, thank you, no, sir. I'm, I'm on duty. So, are you up for it? Well, I've drawn up a short itinerary, but it would be helpful if I had a, a better idea of her particular interests. Well, you know, a little sightseeing, shopping. I gave her some money. If she needs more, make a call. Just make sure that she has a good time and shows up at the ball tomorrow night. Isn't she beautiful? Well, uh, Judy calls to get these Americans to sell less and buy more. I understand, sir. You, uh, take very good care of her. I will. So, you must be Chicago. 
Ah, uh, Constable Fraser, ma'am. And I will be your escort until tomorrow night. Now, I've given some thought to the itinerary, but not knowing your tastes. Well, I'm sure whatever you picked will be just fine. I'll be right back. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll wait right here. She go in there? Yes. So? So? You like, uh, her boyfriend? Me? No. She said she didn't want to dance anymore because her boyfriend might get bent out of shape. Ah. You seen him around here? Her boyfriend? No. You think she was lying to me? The truth? Yeah. Yes. Women can be cold. You know, when I was your age, I couldn't dance very well either. Really? Really. You're like what? The ballet? Well, something like that. That's cool. Well, thank you. Good evening, miss. It's gonna be. That was a day. Oh, yes, now that you mention it, she does look quite... She... Excuse me. I ex oh, excuse hey, me. I'm 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 sorry. I'm just uh, I, I was I'm looking for a. Uh... Oh dear. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Yes. He'll never believe it, man. The valet's a perv. Well, 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 don't we look pretty tonight? Uh, thank you. Drive. All right, where do you want to go? It's the wildest club in town. The wildest club? No, 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 no. You don't want to go there, guys. Yes, I do. You're going to love the place. Uh, uh, Miss Nichols? See you, Chicago. Uh, I need a cab. Do you work here? So how come a pretty little thing like yourself is out all by her lonesome tonight? Just looking for some fun, Ned, Jerome. Looking for some fun. <laughs> in a hurry to see the sights, are you? Well, I can understand that. You know this guy? Go away! Just leave me alone! Well, I, I can't do that, you see, because uh, I have the itinerary. What is he, some kind of nut? Yes. Go faster. Hey, I'm already going to see Lose him! I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to break the speed limit. How much? By as little as necessary. How much money? Oh, um... Uh, here. It's red. It's Canadian. It's got your picture on it. No, that's the RCMP musical ride. It's not a good likeness at all. Oh, uh... Here. Uh, this guy I know. I'm afraid there's been some kind of misunderstanding. Why are you doing this to me? Because I'm your escort. Your father has entrusted you to my care. My father doesn't give a damn about me. Well, now, now that's not true. As a matter of fact, he gave me $20 so I could take you someplace nice. Could you show it to her, please? You see? I don't need his money, and I don't need a babysitter. Hey, I need his money. Here. All right, we're gone now. Hold on. <laughs> I need more, too. Well, all I have left is Canadian. Fine, and I'll drive 30% slower. All right. Just keep it steady. Hold this, would you? Hey, what, what the hell are you doing? Thank you.
consider discussing this over coffee. This man is seriously crazy. <laughs> Go away! Well, you're being a bit childish. Childish? I just turned 16 years old. You know what my father gave me for my birthday? A porcelain doll. Oh, uh, nice. Do I look like I play with dolls? <laughs> you look very fine. Thank you. You know, you really should take this up with your father, because I'm sure he'd understand that you have very valid concerns. You want to hear my concerns, Chicago? Well, I'm not sure that this is the most appropriate venue. Well, I want to hear them. Okay, here's one. When do I get my own life? When do I get to do what I want to do? When do I get to stop being the perfect little princess and go skinny dipping? Public pool, coming up. You, keep driving. I want to go out all night and come home when the sun comes up, and I want to fall in love with somebody I just met, and I want to kiss somebody who's not related to me. I can pull over right here. Keep driving. I want to do all these things I've never done before, and I want to do them all tonight. Well, you know, there is the most fantastic exhibit at the... Uh... Museum of Science. You turn. The textile museum? All right, I'll make you a deal. We go one place I choose, then I'll go back to the hotel. Well, no, I'm afraid I can't agree to that. All right, where's the pool? One place, and that's it? We got a deal or you want to see my backstroke? All right, we got a deal. Here we are. Oh, dear. Let's go. Let me get that. Man, you want freaky red dude, you know that? You don't really fit in in that place. Ah, huh. costume party, isn't it? Well, it sounds like good, clean fun. Unit 5 in position. Unit 4 in position. Unit 2 in position. Nobody moves till I give the word. There's no sign of beats. How can you see anything? I can't even see the hand in front of my face. I hope we're not wasting our time. My source says he'll be here, he'll be here. Yeah, the only problem is he'll be dead by then from secondhand smoke. Oh yeah, that's it. Light up another one. God forbid you should consider somebody else's lungs. How do you put up with this guy? Oh, great. been very bad. Please punish me. There's nothing so bad that it can't be forgiven, son. Long Island Ice Team, keep them coming. How old are you? How old do I look? Just the right age.
Excuse me. Bonjour, monsieur, ça va? Here you are. Hello, ma'am. Thank you. Ah. I'm afraid there's been a mistake. There's a uh, liquor in this, quite a large quantity, too. I had a very hard day at the office. Guess what? I got the promotion. <laughs> and I'm in a mood to celebrate. Come out, come out wherever you are. You think you can treat me like that, Eddie? Huh? You make me wait here all day, and you think you can walk in and talk to me like that? Well, think again, jerk. that you're a 16 year old girl and this is your first time in Chicago what would you most like to see on your first evening how about La Boheme no, you have to give opera more than one chance that was the Yukon light opera and I thought they did their very best under extraordinarily difficult circumstances in fact it's a miracle that poor woman was able to sing at all after having been dragged out of that snowdrift oh now here's an idea a modern dress production of Gilbert and Sullivan's Ivanhoe. <laughs> no, you're right. And she is 16. I mean, perhaps I'm being a bit conservative. Mind you, she's the daughter of a very important Canadian trade diplomat. I can hardly invite her to a sock hop. I've got the museums and the gallery scheduled for tomorrow. I just have to find something that she would enjoy doing tonight. Oh, look. The Bee Gees are reuniting. You know, I don't even know why I bother talking to you when you're in these kinds of moods. May I be frank? I only started talking with you on the ice flow out of sheer boredom. Now you've got an opinion on virtually everything. Well, from now on, you can keep your opinions to yourself. Oh, how do I look? Well, thank you. Hold it in.